But this weekend, J.R. Reynolds High School is hosting their acapella jam tomorrow night. Starting at 7 p.m., you'll have the chance to see some great performances from acapella groups from Winston-Salem and across North Carolina. Absolutely. And joining us live now, like we just teased ahead, mm -hmm. our Victoria Lucas is there at R.J. Reynolds this morning with a couple of those students who I know they're excited as they're getting ready for this big jam tomorrow. Victoria, you've got to tell us a little bit about what they have going on and what their thoughts are on the performance. Hey, ladies, good morning. Yes, so here at RJ Reynolds High School, the RJR Acapella Jam for Hope will be hosting a performance tomorrow, really just helping the community and giving the community also some great tunes. And talking more about the event, I've got student leaders here of the Women's Ensemble. Syncopate, how are you guys this morning? Good. Awesome. <laughs> so tell me your names. I'm Juno Myers. Uh-huh. I'm Mackenzie Clegg. Awesome. And you got some nice shirts. Show them off. Thank you. These are our Syncopate shirts. We have uh -huh. our names on the back. Ooh, very, very nice. So tell us first your interest into the acapella world. Um, I like acapella because it's just one big community and we all share the same instrument, so we all get along really well. Mm -hmm. And then Mackenzie, tell me about the music program here at the high school. Oh, it's amazing. It's like nothing else, honestly, from any other school. We have so many different opportunities, like performing for acapella jam. Like That's something you just can't get at other places. Oh my goodness. That's awesome. So a Mackenzie is a, a junior, right? Yep. And then Juno, you, know, you are a senior. You are going to a Berkeley next year. How exciting. So tell me just about the impact, right, that tomorrow's event's going to have on the community. Um, I just remember when I saw acapella for the first time, I was in eighth grade because one of my friends was in acapella and I knew that's what I wanted to do at Reynolds because you can tell how close everyone is to each other and it's just mm -hmm inspiring to see the music that they make. Yeah. And that is so awesome. So, you know, it's, the proceeds are going to a local charity. You guys are from the area. What does that mean for you? It's so important to just be able to perform and do something that we love to be able to help other people is just amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Want to add on that? Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean. Yeah. Exactly. And, you know, tell me how was the preparation for tomorrow's event like how are you guys preparing and is it stressful how is that for you um it's very stressful we haven't had as much time as we usually have for concerts because we have our winter concert and then this one right after mm -hmm. so um we didn't really have as much time as we'd like but we got ourselves together like we always do and syncopate is going to be amazing and for incoming students who want to get involved in the acapella groups, right? There are four acapella groups at the high school. How can they get involved? Oh my gosh, audition, please. We need people always, and you're always welcome, no matter who you are. We are so accepting. Acapella is just a big family that just loves to create music. So please come and audition. And I want to know how you guys feel about this. So uh, tomorrow, the event, you know, will be catering to uh, Deke Sharon, the father of a modern acapella. Does that give you chills? Yes. Um, we haven't really had an artist this big come host our jam before. And it's really scary, but it's also really, really exciting for us. Yeah, awesome. Anything else you want to add, Mackenzie? Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. This is huge for us. Yeah. Awesome. Well, ladies, I thank you so very much. Have fun tomorrow. Sing your hearts away. We'll also hear some tunes from some students later on in this hour. But again, the event tomorrow night is at 7. Doors open at 6.30. And if you get hungry before the event begins, you can head to the food trucks. And tickets are $10, and you can get them only at the door. Alrighty, Live in Winston-Salem this morning, I'm Victoria Lucas, WXAI 12 News.